everyone, it's Laura. Welcome to Mask Monday. You can't tell, but I actually have my mask on already. I'm not doing a sheet mask this week. I'm doing this mask from Grown Alchemist. This is the Age Repair Gel Mask. And it looks like this. It's in a, like a, you know, like metal aluminum squeezy tube. And it comes out like that. And it said to put it a generous amount all over your face, including your eye contour. So I just did a little bit under my eyes. Um, and you leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. It's been on probably about 10 so far. And then you just rinse it off. So what I'll do is I'll, you know, pause this and rinse it off and come back. So um, I just wanted to try something different. And I've had this and I know this brand is bougie and I've been wanting to try it. And I thought... What a better time to try than on Mask Monday. It smells amazing. It smells like you walked into a spa. Unless you don't like that kind of herbally spa-ish smell, like a Veda smells like that. That's what this smells like. I think it smells amazing. So I'm going to throw the box away. I only keep them until I start using a product and then I throw it away. That's how I remember if I've used it or not. It makes sense to me. So anyway. So that's what I'm using and I'm going to let that sit. I don't really have anything to show you guys or I, you know, I didn't prepare any like questions to answer or anything. Um, so I was just going to mention if you haven't watched it though, to please go watch my stitch fix video that I posted yesterday, Sunday, um, it's my first one ever. And I really liked it. I didn't think I would because I'm kind of, you know, self-conscious and whatever. It's my, it's my whole thing. Um, but I loved almost everything. <laughs> so watch it in way in. Um, cause I have to decide in the next couple of days, I think I know which way I'm going to go, but I want a couple more people to watch it and, you know, I want some more people to watch it and weigh in. So please go do that. And then I got my Ipsy, um, yesterday, that video, well, Saturday. I'm filming this Sunday. That video will go up tomorrow, Tuesday. So I've got that coming. Um, and I don't really have a lot much else to post. So hopefully I can maybe do a haul or something. I don't, I'm not really expecting anything. I do have one more Ipsy add-on that shipped separately from what I showed in my video, but it's just like one thing. So it doesn't really warrant a whole video by itself. Um, and I do have something from Influencer um, that I got another thing. <laughs> they love me. Um, but I'm waiting to film that when I have something else to show because it's just like one thing. It would be like a super quick video. So hopefully I'll think of something else because, you know, I want to keep the content coming. But I don't want to buy stuff just to have content. Like I want to buy things that I want or need. Um, so that's why I don't have as many videos up lately because I used to just buy stuff just because I'm like, oh, content for my channel. Which is great, but, you know, I'm going to rein in the spending a little bit. <laughs> so, yeah. So, probably three videos a week, maybe some weeks. So, before, um, I used to do five, six, sometimes even seven videos a week. And it gets to be a lot. <laughs> Unless you have, you know, a lot of subscriptions, which I don't. I have Ipsy. I have Earfleek. And I have um, Ice Cream Beauty. And that's it. Um, well, in Walmart, but you know, that's quarterly. So I, I always forget about that one because it's so inexpensive. Um, and then everything else is just hauls and mask Monday and whatever random stuff I think of. Um, so anyway, I'm trying to think, hope everybody had a good weekend. Um, kind of uneventful here. Friday night, I went out to dinner with my dad and my brother. That's what we do on Fridays. Um, and then Saturday, Ricky was off. He was supposed to have baseball practice and it was canceled again. I think this is the third week in a row. So he's thinking that maybe the team isn't going to happen, that maybe they couldn't get enough players, but the coach just hasn't wanted to say it officially yet. We don't know for sure. Um, but it was fine. I mean, and he was able to sleep in. I was able to do some stuff around the house while he was sleeping in. And then when he got up, we went and went to Sam's Club. That's exciting. That's what we do. <laughs> we go to Sam's Club and Costco and TJ Maxx and stores like that. So we went to, we went to Sam's Club. Um, and then we went to Meyer to get a few things. And then we grabbed dinner and I think we went to one other store. Oh, I went to Maurice's. Um, so 
that is one thing I'm actually waiting for that is shipping. I ordered one thing that they didn't have in the store online. So when that comes, I'll show it. Um, it's not super, well, it's kind of exciting. It's one little thing, but anyway, so that's what we did Saturday. And then we came home and we just, you know, watched TV and had dinner and yeah. And then today, Sunday, he had to work, of course. So I've been filming videos. Um, I did my stitch fix. I filmed Ipsy and now this video. And then in between I did laundry and, you know, cleaning and boring stuff like that. So, but a, a nice relaxing weekend. So that's good. Um, you know, just what I needed. And I think that's it. I was trying to think if there was something else I want to share. Oh, I don't think I mentioned they finally rescheduled the Patti LaBelle concert. I don't think I mentioned that to you guys. It is in May and I can't remember the exact date, but it is a Saturday in May. So we're super excited because the original one was in December and that was the one that was, you know, had that threat and was canceled and whatever. They finally rescheduled it. So we're so excited. So we actually have two concerts in May. We have Patti LaBelle and we have Janet. I cannot wait to see Janet. You have no idea how excited I am. I'm so excited. Ricky's like, yeah, because he's seen her before. I think he's seen her two or three times in the past. Must be nice. I've never seen her. So I'm so excited. Um, and that's going to be at the down by the lake on the Summerfest grounds. If you've ever been to Milwaukee or if you've know anything about music festivals it's the world's largest musical music festival it's right here in, in Milwaukee every year and it's called Summerfest but Summerfest is in um it's around July 4th it's like late June into July um so it's not during Summerfest when our concert is but it's on the grounds at the amphitheater where they have all the big concerts fun fact I saw Prince during Summerfest on the Summerfest grounds in I want to say it was 2000, somewhere around there. I think it was. And it was amazing. Best concert I've ever been to, hands down. But, and it was cold. It was in June and it was like 50 degrees. <laughs> we all had jackets on. It was crazy how cold. It was one of those things where we had like, I don't know, like an El Nino or something. And yeah, and it got like super cold in June when it, late June, you know, when it should be in the 80s. But an amazing concert. So much fun. So I'm going to let this sit for a couple minutes and then I'm going to come back and rinse it off and tell you guys what I think of it. I mean, it feels, it's like, you know, it's tacky. It's sticky right now, but it smells so good. It literally smells like you stepped into a spa. So I'm hoping it makes my face feel nice and soft. So I will be right back. Okay, I have the mask all rinsed off. My skin feels so, so soft. Um, I still have to do the rest of my skincare. But again, I use this Grown Alchemist um, Age Repair Gel Mask. Really nice. If you happen to see that in like, um, you know, one of the, oh, whatever they're going to call the, the BoxyCharm Drop Shop. I guess it'll just be the Drop Shop. If you happen to see this, I would recommend grabbing it. I'm sure it's super expensive. I got it in a box or a mystery box or something. I would have never, you know, paid for this separately, but, or not full price anyway. It smells really good. It made my skin feel really soft. So highly recommend. I liked it. Um, I remember there was something else I wanted to show you. So Ricky went to Dollar Tree um, one day last week just to get, like he buys snacks and stuff there and soda sometimes. And then he goes, I got you some stickers. <laughs> He's so sweet. Look at these koala stickers he got me. <laughs> They've got like top hats on and sunglasses and bow ties. <laughs> and that top hat one, that cracks me up. They're so stinking cute. I love koalas. Well, I pretty much love all like fuzzy animals. And then he got me these dragonflies. Look how cute those are. They're like like different pastel colors. And I don't know if it'll pick up on camera, but they've got glitter on them. They're sparkly. So those will be on some future front mail packages and cards and stuff, I'm, I'm sure. So I will add that to my, I have a whole bin over here full of like stickers and stationery and stuff. So I will add those. I wanted to show those to you because they're so cute. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I hope you have a great Mask Monday. Go and do something. 
Now treat yourself to something. Do a hand mask, foot mask, a regular mask, face mask, some eye mask, something. You know, do a little treat for yourself. You deserve it. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you on my next one. Bye-bye.